Dylan Knapp here from BES IT Systems. I've got Adam Dawson from Aruba here to join me today. It's been a new product launch, the User Experience Insight Sensor. Um, it's creating quite a stir out in the market, even amongst our own sales team. They come back uh, raving about it to me. So I thought I'd take the opportunity, get Adam here today and introduce the product to you. So tell us about it, Adam. Thanks Who's it for. Thanks, Dylan. So the sensor essentially is a uh, device that replicates as a, a user's experience on the network. So it's a device uh, in view of the, in the of the environment, and it tests uh, the user's application, their web experience, and services twenty four seven. Um, it's a simple to set up, connect device um, applications right across the market. Um, one area your team were interested in is, is in education mm. and how we'd, uh, how a school would uh, test uh, NAPLAN experience, say in a hall or an environment where a school is going to uh, do the online version of NAPLAN. Yeah, so like one of the challenges I guess that, that's existed for a long time is we always see end users, whether they're students, office workers, whatever, complaining about um, how long the application takes to load and things like that. So. Obviously, this is there to give us a benchmark, is it? And, and give the insight into what's actually going on with applications. So we can either be proactive and tidying up the network or, or analyzing things further. Correct, so the, you know, from a user's perspective, uh, uh, Wi-Fi is the internet, I suppose. So yeah. what's happening behind the scenes in terms of those um, applications, that, that whole experience is um, is simply based on, you know, how quickly things load and how, how quickly uh, everything works for them. So yeah. the the device is basically there. There's a, a really simple to use dash lights um, with a, you know, red, green, amber traffic light experience uh, reporting on aspects of the network, um, ap aspects of applications and, and IT can set up um, to, to test different applications, whether it's um, Skype for business, whether it's, um, it's Google, whether, whether it's AWS, all different um, uh, applications and, and um, functions, I suppose, of, that, that that user has. So, um, and then uh, to your point, uh, they can then throttle, make adjustments, um, changes to that, in, to that network and to that experience and um, improve uh, across the organization. Yeah, so th this little device uh, Adam's got here, it just looks like an access point. So you just mount it in, in the same environment that the users are Correct, you would, you'd, unlike an AP, obviously we mount APs on the ceiling um, for coverage and experience. You want that, we essentially want to mount these in, in similar line of sight of, as a user would be. So typically on a wall, at desk, at desk level, um, and preferably it's, it sits in that environment and remains in that spot. So we're getting a consistent review and reporting um, on that experience in that location. So obviously different um, corporates, in a, in a corporate environment, you don't, you'd probably look at putting one sensor um, in per floor. Um, in education, you might look at putting them one per building, um, depending on the requirement or you know, depending on um, problem areas. Often customers will put these in um, in, in scenarios where they've got potentially a problem user that's, that's uh, or, or high requirement user, um, but the, the aim is to keep it in that consistent location um, and building uh, over time a, a view and a, a reporting system on that on that environment. Sure. All right, that's great, Adam. So if you guys are interested, you, you've got users making the standard comment that their Wi-Fi is slow. Look. Click on the link down below, you'll get some more information on, on this product. Um, and also keep an eye out, we're gonna review the setup of it and what the interface looks like. So thanks a lot, Adam. Thanks, uh, Dylan. Appreciate your time. Cheers. Bye.